Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to subtract mixed numbers together. And the purpose of this tutorial is to show you that we can subtract them without transforming them into improper fractions. But before we start, I want you to know that addition is commutative while subtraction is not. What I mean by commutative, remember if we say three minus one, we're going to obtain two. But one minus three will give us a negative result. Unlike addition, like if you say three plus one, you will obtain four. Likewise, one plus three will give us four. You can see we have the same result here. And hence we say addition is commutative because if you interchange the values, you still obtain the same result unlike subtraction. The same thing in mixed numbers. If you subtract a larger mixed number from a smaller mixed number, you're going to obtain a negative result. So now let us subtract some mixed numbers together. So first we want to subtract two whole number one over three from a whole number seven. Remember in our previous lesson, I told you a mixed number can also be expressed as a sum of its whole number and its fraction. So two whole number one over three can be written as two plus one over three. So we want to subtract the whole of this bundle from seven. So writing seven minus this is very wrong because this negative sign is now only affecting whole number two. But we have to add parentheses to show that we are subtracting the whole of this bundle. So if you expand this parenthesis, you're going to obtain minus two minus one over three. This is to show you that we are subtracting the whole of the bundle from seven. Uh, we are going to subtract whole number from a whole number. Seven minus two is five, but we still have minus one over three. Remember the topic of this quotient is mixed numbers so we don't want to transform this into any improper fraction. We know that five can also be written as four plus one. Yes, four plus one is the same thing as five, and still we have minus one over 30. So now we can use this one, because it is larger than one over 30, to subtract one over 30. But we can rationalize it as one over one because one over one is the same thing as one. But for convenience, since we have a denominator of three, we can write it as three over three. Three over three is the same thing as one. So instead of writing one here, we can write three over three. So that we use this three over three to subtract one over three. This is equal to four plus. Since they have the same denominator, we can just say three minus one, which is two out of the common denominator, which is three. And lastly, remember I told you, uh, a mixed number uh, can be expressed as a sum of its whole number and its fraction. So if this is equal to this, we can write this one as four whole number two over three as our final answer. Therefore, if you subtract this from this, you're going to obtain four whole number two over three. Let us take another one. Here is another one. We want to subtract this from this. Let us rewrite each mixed number into sum of its whole number and fraction. This is five plus three over four. We have minus. Remember, this is a bundle, therefore we have to use parentheses. Two plus three over 16. Let us, exp we can expand it from here. If you remove this parentheses, definitely this becomes negative. So let us subtract whole numbers together and fractions together. We can do it directly because five minus two is three. Plus, let us bring these ones together and subtract them. But these two fractions have different denominator. To make them the same, we have to transform them into their LCM. And the LCM is 16 because 16 is the smallest number in which four and 16 can go into without remainder. So we can just change this four to 16 by multiplying it by four. 
but we have to multiply the top number by the same value for, for equivalency. So this is 3 plus 4 times 3 is 12 over 16 because 4 times 4 is 16 minus 3 over 16. Now that they have the same denominator, we can say 12 minus 3, which is the same thing as 9. So we have 3 plus 9 over 16. 9 over 16 do not have any common factor, and hence we cannot reduce it to any lower term. Lastly, we have 3 whole number 9 over 16 as our solution. If you subtract this from this, you shall obtain this without necessarily have to transform it into improper fraction. Let us take another one. All right, here is another one. We want to subtract this from this. As usual, this is 3 plus 3 over 4, minus 1, minus 7 over 8. I've already told you why we have this, because this is a bundle. We are subtracting everything from the right-hand side, 1 and 7 over 8. All right, we have 3 minus 1, which will give us 2. Then we have our plus 3 over 4, the minus. 7 over 8. Let us transform them in such a way they will have common denominator. We have 2 plus. If you times 4 by 2, you will obtain 8. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Over 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 7 over 8. You can see that this fraction is less than this fraction. Therefore, if you subtract them, you're going to get a negative result. But since we have a whole number part, we don't want a negative result. And hence, we can borrow one here because this can be written as one plus one. Remember, one plus one is two. Still, we have six over eight minus seven over eight. This one can also be rationalized as one over one. Remember, one over one is the same thing as one. But because of this denominator of eight, we can transform this to eight by multiplying it by eight, and we have to multiply the top by eight. And eight over eight is the same thing as one. So we can write this one as eight over eight. Now we are free to add numerators together because all of them have the same denominator. 8 plus 6 is 14, then 14 minus 7 is 7. So we have 1 plus 7 over 8. Now we have whole number and a fraction added up together to give us one whole number 7 over 8 as our final answer. One whole number 7 over 8 is equal to this, if you subtract this from this. Let us take another one. Here is our last question. We want to subtract two whole number one over four out of five whole number three over four. All right. We know we can split this as five plus three over four minus the whole of this bundle. If you add parentheses like this, you say two plus one over four. But once you remove this parentheses, this negative sign will affect each term inside thereby changing this positive sign to negative sign. This minus this, 5 minus 2 is 3, plus we have 3 over 4 here, and we have minus 1 over 4 on the other side. This time around, our denominators are the same, therefore we don't have to change them to any form. All we have to do is to subtract the numerators. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have 3 plus 2 over 4. But 2 over 4 have a common factor, which is 2. Because 2 can go into 2 one time, and 2 can go into 4 two times, so we can reduce it to the lowest term. 3 plus 1 over 2. And lastly, our answer is 3 whole number 1 over 2. Now you have seen that throughout all these exercises, we have not converted our mixed numbers into improper fractions. Because in our previous lessons, we have seen how to subtract fractions 
and therefore we don't have to change them into fractions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share to your learning colleagues. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.